is Asli Samadova, and together with my colleague Alberto Boralevi, I created the Silk Treasures, an unprecedented exhibition dedicated to a very rare type of silk embroideries known academically as early Azerbaijan embroideries. International textile experts are presently aware of less than 400 objects currently located mostly abroad. The largest and most important collections are now in the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, the Textile Museum in Washington DC, and several European private collections. The Cross Museum study that had been made back in 2015 has revealed a group of 22 uh, unpublished embroideries in the collection of the Azerbaijan National Museum of Art. Among these textiles were two very rare early Azerbaijan embroideries that, with the help of curatorial and scientific department of the museum, as well as international textile experts, were further studied and reattributed to this very rare group of early Azerbaijan embroideries. Our discovery generated the idea to showcase those findings first time to public during the 5th International Symposium on Azerbaijani Carpets, of which I was also a project leader. The embroideries from the National Museum were coupled with the international loans from the Victoria and Albert Museum, Islamic Art Museum of Berlin, as well as several European and Azerbaijan private collections. This was the first time when most of them have ever left the museum storages and travel to Azerbaijan for this temporary exhibition. Presented in this room is a selection from the collection of the Azerbaijan National Museum of Arts 22 rediscovered embroideries. This example of early Azerbaijan embroidery was probably a cushion cover and is worked on regular surface darning on cotton with black and white outline in cross stitch. The layout, if not the detail, of this piece is very similar to an object from the Textile Museum collection. One of the design peculiarities of Azerbaijani embroideries is the use of bold geometric forms like octagons, squares and circles. Such elements are surrounded by a multitude of minor ornaments that belong to the classical repertoire of the so-called dragon family carpets. Large stylized sickle leaves and abstract flowers are typical of long stitch or darning stitch embroideries. The entire room is devoted to a peculiar group of embroideries that can be linked to the precious court silk textiles of the Safavid era. A small 16th century section of woven lampa silk, soldier with sword and axe holding Georgian female prisoner, is the most ancient piece in this exhibition and make us better understand the pictorial embroideries on display. Sound weaving is a project by Hungarian designer Janet Zsirmai that transforms embroidery patterns into magical melodies by using a self-built and developed punched card music boxes. As part of the transformation, embroidery patterns turned into laser-cut textile pieces and cross-stitched patterns into melodies. The strips of material serve as bands for a mechanical music box The 
rediscovery of the embroideries at the storages of the Azerbaijan National Museum of Art was a very important milestone of an ongoing project, the Silk Treasures of Azerbaijan. It is our honor to bring, even temporarily, the rarest examples of Azerbaijan's rich textile traditions from the international museum storages and private collections back to their place of origin. With us, thank the Ministry of Culture and Tourism of the Republic of Azerbaijan for this opportunity. On the example of the exhibition in Baku, as well as the research that was held in the storages of the Victoria and Albert Museum, the Silk Treasures of Azerbaijan team hopes to continue to work on popularizing these embroideries both in Azerbaijan and internationally. We thus appeal to all the museums, collectors and philanthropists to support us in our endeavors.